you to wait a few moments. My son's bride has just arrived into town, and we've got to have an emergency wedding. I knew you'd spread it about. The wedding can begin at once. Here is the license. I am the bride's brother. The bride's brother and I are the witnesses. Are you prepared to be a faithful, obedient, and uh, good wife to this man and to cleave to him until death you do part? Yes. And are you prepared to be a good and loving husband to your wife until death you do part? And are you well, prepared? Well, of course he is. Did you hear him say yes? All right. I now declare this marriage uh, contracted. What about extreme options? Not being doing the wedding was quite expensive enough. I must now take care of the mourners. Now. Did we say 700? 600. And I'm not going to sit around and get acquainted with the guests, so farewell, Lucia. And if my widowed sister comes to visit me one day, she'll get a welcome from my wife, or I'll get disagreeable. But may one ask whose child that is? Child? Is there a child? I don't see any child. And you don't see one either, or else I've seen all kinds of things behind the tavern. Come along now. It can't take much longer. <clears throat> Dear wedding guests and mourners, we stand deeply moved in front of a bed of death and marriage because the bride gets into bed and the groom gets into the grave. The groom is already washed and the bride is already hot. For in the marriage bed lies the last will and that makes people randy. <laughs> Oh, my children, how varied is the fate of man. The one dies to get a roof over his head, and the other marries, so that flesh may be turned into dust from which it was made. Amen. He's got a 